Hi guys, my name is Dan. I'm the banquet chef here at the Barking Frog at the Willis Lodge. I'm going to show you how to do a little turkey brine for this year's Thanksgiving. So we're going to start with some boiling water here real quick. And then we got a cup of uh, salt and a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to add that. Now this at the very least is a very basic brine. We do this for a couple of reasons. It adds moisture to the thing that you're cooking. So for example, we're going to be doing the turkeys. Um, but we do it to lots of things like salmon, chicken, uh, other cuts of meat. It adds moisture to it. Uh, all that salt in there is going to also add, um, it's going to make the flavors really pop on the turkey. So it's not going to, it's not going to be too salty, even though it's a lot of salt. Um, and it's going to just really boost the flavor of the turkey. So a couple other things that we're going to be adding here, some basic aromatics. We've got five cloves of crushed garlic. We've got a tablespoon of black pepper. We've got five bay leaves. And then we've got some fresh herbs right here, rosemary, and then thyme and parsley. Chef Bobby's actually gonna be putting some of those herbs in the bread pudding that we do also every year. And then this is a pretty basic, basic brine right here. It's got the basic aromatics, just about everything that you already want. But we don't do things basic here. We like to do things pretty special. So we're gonna add a couple of different extra aromatics. What we've got here, tablespoon of cloves, green cardamom, and allspice. And then to that, we're gonna add a whole onion. You can just do a rough chop on this. You're not really gonna be eating that onion. And then we've got two whole oranges that we're just gonna juice in there and then just get nice and nice and good in there. Now we're gonna let this boil for a couple of minutes. Just let all of those spices just really make that uh, brine nice and flavorful. Um, now at this point, you can kill the heat and let it go overnight. Let those spices just really work with the brine, make it make it happen. But um, turkey turkey usually takes a long time uh, from start to finish. You're talking about a couple days thawing it, and then a day to make the brine. Overnight, you're going to let it cool down, and then another day to uh, actually brine it, get it on, get in the water for to, to soak up those flavors, and then you're going to be cooking on Thanksgiving. So what we like to do here is we like to make a pretty concentrated brine with only half a gallon of water. And then to this, we're gonna add some ice to cool it down. Mix this in here, make sure it's nice and cool down. And you want there to be a little bit of a little bit of ice left over so that you know it's cool. I can still feel that it's a little bit warm, so I'm gonna add some more ice. That should be good. And then to this, we're gonna add our turkeys. Now this is about 12 pounds of turkey here. This recipe should be good for about 16 to 20 pounds of turkey. You could actually probably go a little bit more on this. But then from here, we're gonna let this sit overnight. I wouldn't let it go for more than a day or it'll actually get too salty, but that's about it. We also like to break down our turkey so we have our breasts and our thighs and legs. So we'll do the, the, the bread pudding with the thighs and then the breast will carve up nice and good. And that's about it. Uh, if you're deep frying your turkeys, make sure you're very careful. Do it outside, not inside. And otherwise, uh, enjoy. Happy eating and happy holidays.